Hello, everybody, and welcome. Today I am going to be talking about setting up your editorial calendar using Trello. If you're not familiar, Trello is a web-based uh, application. It's a free application. Um, you're checking it out right here. Um, and uh, yeah, we want to just provide you with some ideas, some tips for um, how you might might be able to manage your, your editorial calendar a little bit better um, and show you a little bit about how we do it and hopefully provide you with some, uh, some tips and, and ideas that, that, that you'll find helpful. Uh, basically, uh, to start with, just kind of give you a lay of the land here with, the, with our Trello board and how we use it. Um, we, we, we look at it from start to finish. Uh, so we set up our, our board, and you'll, if you go down the road of using Trello, you'll probably want to spend a good amount of your time just uh, with setup, uh, making sure that, that you have your lists um, set up for the way that you and your team um, want, uh, want to use it and um, your phases of your content. Um, for us, um, we look at it from, our, from start to end with a, our, from brainstorming ideas, to the content creation itself, uh, to getting it published, and then finally promoted. Um, as you can see on the far left here, I've got a, a list set up for our keyword focus. Uh, this is a reference list for, for us and the, and the team, so everybody can see uh, the keywords that we've identified that um, we are focused on right now. Um, we continue to add to that and update this. Uh, but as as it is right now, this is uh, uh, these are the key words that we want everybody to to, to keep in mind. Um, one of the really nice things about Trello is the visibility that it creates. Uh, not only for a manager to come in to take a look and see what what's happening um, on a large scale, um, but the entire team can come in and see where a piece of content uh, currently stands. Uh, and to see what's coming down the pipeline. Um, but as you see here, like this topics brainstorming list, uh, cool thing here is I can look at this and say, okay, we've got a lot of topics. Uh, we've been adding to it. Um, this looks really good. But say we only had one or two cards in here, and say, hey, team, we need to sit down. It's time for a brainstorming session. We need to fill this, uh, fill this queue back up, uh, make sure that we've got plenty of ideas uh, for to work towards. The other really great thing here, as far as collaboration goes, I can pull in team members from any department. Uh, for instance, we want our sales team, um, you know, if they're talking to somebody on the phone and they get a question, they need to be thinking about, hey, that, that could be a great piece of content, or I could use a piece of content to answer that question. They have access to the board, they go in here and simply add a card, it goes into our brainstorming list, and then from the content team, we can come back in here, we see it, and we say, hey, that's a fantastic idea. We move it, move that card over to confirmed, and now the ball's rolling with actually getting that, uh, that, that question answered and uh, giving a resource to the sales team. So again, the visibility is there. It's not just an email sent, a post-it note where we jotted it down. Now we've got it in front of us and we can actually do something with it. So as we continue through here, we can uh, we, we move our content through our various phases as it gets green lighted, and we can see something's being researched. We can see that when it gets assigned and it's in the works. Um, again, the visibility for the entire team, the the content creation team knows what's going on, what's being worked on, and my distribu distribution team looks and see what's coming down the pipeline. It, everybody stays on task. Everybody knows uh, what the deadline is. We can see it right there on the card, and we're all working towards the same goal. One of the other uh, really nice pieces um, um, and really important pieces for us, which are these labels, these colored labels. So. The way we use these, and again, this is part of your board setup. You need to think this through with your team. But you look at it, and, and you know, we we use it to identify, you know, what type of piece of content, um, what what type of content is this, right? Um, so we 
need, we know we need a certain number of blogs. We, kn we know we need a certain number of uh, long form pieces of content. Um, we know we need um, um, uh, we need different stages of content for our buying cycle. So we set up all these labels to, to create the visibility. So I can look at the board and say, hey, I can tell from just a quick peek, we need more stage one content. Um, obviously, you, you can get more granular with that, but uh, this creates some of that, that, that visual component so you can quickly take a look and see what's going on. Uh, in addition to that, the, we, we label it, we categorize our content here. Our content creators know who they're writing for, um, so they've got the target audience in mind as they're creating that piece of content. As it gets pushed over to our to promotions, the distribution team comes in and they know, based on that label, they know who they're distributing the content to, when and where that content needs to get pushed out. Another really cool component here for for us is is uh, just in, within the card itself. Not only have we, well, as on the board, have we brought our entire team together, um, on, and brought uh, all departments together to create visibility for this initiative for our content in, initiative. Um, but on a specific piece of content, we can open up the card. We see, we see the labels, so we know what stage it's in, we know what type of content it is. And then now we've, we've got our team in here, but now we've got all our files in here, which is awesome. So we can pull in, uh, we can just drag and drop uh, images, um, um, uh, you know, it takes PDFs, um, just screenshots of of different ads that are being created, all the all the photos that that we've taken, we can drop them in here. Everything stays in one spot, and we don't we're not chasing anything. Um, as we start to communicate on the content and, and add review notes, uh, we can tag people and say, "Hey, uh, everything's looking really good here, but here's some edits, here's some changes that we need to to make." That person gets uh, notified via email, which is nice, but the comment stays in the string of comments here on, on the card. So again, we're not chasing email, and we can come to the card, open it up, take a look, and see exactly how we got to this point with this piece of content and where we stand with this, uh, with this piece of content. So another super important thing for us is uh, to, to keep an eye on how the content is performing. So it used to be that we would go through and this process of getting the content created and we'd be all super excited about it and publish it on the website and here it is. And then uh, you realize that, you know, some people saw it and a lot of people didn't. And uh, so we got more sophisticated with it, say, so, okay, now we got We need to promote this. We need to. We need to be more strategic with getting eyes on it. So, uh, we've we've organized it all the way through here on the board. But now that we've promoted it, now we're looking at it from the standpoint of performance. How did that perform? So we're looking for those pieces of content that really perform well. Um, we don't want to lose track of those. Uh, what, what got the most clicks, what got the most engagement. And once we identify them, we move them over to, the, to our high performance list. And so we keep track of them. Now we can circle back here. Now we can circle back to this piece of content and say, okay, how can we reuse this? And maybe we want to just push it out on a, a systematic schedule. Or maybe we need to turn this into something else. Uh, maybe it needs to be an ebook. Or maybe we can break it out into a series of blog posts. Um, but the point is, now we've we've got the visibility to identify it. We're not we're not going to lose track of it, and we can really get the most bang for our buck with all the work that we're putting into um, all this awesome content. So those are just a few ideas, um, some tips for. Um, setting up an editorial calendar here on Trello um, and, and some suggestions as far as how we're using it. Uh, I hope you found it helpful. I uh, really hope you had some, uh, you're able to take something away from this and uh, we'll see you on the next video.